So how did pull-ups become your niche and your thing? So it literally came from, again, people, women just kept saying when they'd see me, oh, man, I just want to be able to do one pull-up. Like, you're a ninja warrior. Mm. Like, it's so cool. I just want to be able to do one pull-up. And what I realized was when I was teaching them um, is that they had all these, like, limiting beliefs and things ingrained from them from when they Mm. were younger. Like, I'm never going to be able to do this. I'm not strong enough. I'm too heavy. Um, All these different things. But it was, they were like, this is a goal that I've had for a long time. It's like, it was always in the back of their mind. Like if you ask anybody and even people who like listen to this podcast right now, you're probably like, shit, that's me. Like I've always wanted, yeah. I've, like women are like, I want to pull up. Like that's what they want, mm-hmm. but they don't feel like it's actually possible for them. Yeah. So as I was teaching them, not only was I seeing this like extra confidence start to come out from them, like they'd get a little bit stronger each week and they'd start to see that it was possible. Mm-hmm. And then when they finally got it, it just opened up so much for them it was like a gateway so I saw that emotion and I felt that emotion and I was like this is what I meant to do I I feel like there was nobody else out there doing it there still isn't there's a lot of male figures trying to teach you it but they don't teach it the way a woman needs to hear it Mm. so I felt like I was like there's something about this especially even after Liz I was like this feels like this is what I need to do because it's more than the pull-up Yes. And that's why I wanted to do it. And I wanted them to get through a lot of the humps that I got through with my ACL. Right. It's the same thing. If they can get through that, they can get through anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The there's something around like just a single pull up and a single mile that once you break through some of those thresholds, your whole mind is like now expansive. You're like, Like, what else can I do? I can do so much more. Yeah. Yeah, Like maybe I can go (laughs) swing swing a kettlebell now. Maybe I can go try. So it's great. I'm like, I feel like I am the gateway for them to get started on whatever it is they want to get started with. Yeah. Yeah. There's all these different gateways too. And like a single catalyst, like for some people, like I think for me, it was getting my nutrition under control and just eating carnivore for two weeks that changed everything and you become a different person a couple years later for some people it's the first pull up for other people it's something else and like there's all these different niches that you can lean into and for you it's like you're teaching women how to do pull-ups but they transform as women and in people by the end of that process which is so cool yeah and i feel like that's why i stuck to it it really is that piece yeah like it's cool that i can get your pull-up but that's not the whole point it's so much more than it's that. more than that yeah, yeah. well even it being very focused around women too, like I don't see a whole lot of women just like going up to the pull-up bar and like doing pull-ups. And it, it is probably because it's like kind of like male men are physiologically very different, more like upper body focus, like more upper body strength. Um, like more of our weight is above the belt. And it's like interesting to actually even see like a rare to see a woman like going up to a pull-up bar and doing pull-ups. It's intimidating. Yeah. They like go yeah. to the gym and they're like, I don't want them to like look at me yeah. and think that I can't do this or mm-hmm. they're shaking their, you can see them shake their head before they do it. Yeah. Like I see it yeah. all the time. Um, but yeah, hundred percent. I feel like for men, it's obviously a lot easier because you definitely are more, up, you have a lot of upper body strength. It's so funny because I always think like, Guys skip leg day and, they always do <laughs> yeah. upper body. and then women skip upper body day. Yeah. And they only do lower body. It's almost like there's guy workouts and girl workouts, which yeah. makes some sense. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, like there should be some crossover, especially with some of these like calisthenics movements. Like, yeah. Doing for a pull sure. up is great. Yeah. And that's something that happens is women are like more strong and like, they're stronger in their legs typically. Um, because obviously birth and yeah. like all yeah. the, you know, like kind of yeah. life, yeah, <laughs> gotta get birth and all that stuff. So the legs are a lot, you know, people put a lot of focus on their legs for that reason. So upper body definitely can be a bit tougher for them to achieve. So there's a different approach that they mm. needed to it. And I think that sometimes, you know, again, guys will just be like, just hop on the bar and try it. Like, yeah, that is not what's going to, that's not what's going to work. It's, yeah. We break down in my pull up program, we break down it into an easier, more manageable way. And we're going to really teach you how to get those muscles to be working because you're not really using them in your everyday life. Yeah. And we do not do assisted pull-up bands, right? That's a cardinal sin. Yeah. So it's so wild. (laughs) I I always say this on my thing, but I feel like people, they always see like the most extreme piece of it, but like there are, there are a good tool. Like they Mm -hmm. are a tool that you can utilize, but what you see all the time is they get really reliant on the band, right? Mm -hmm. You'll be able to do a ton on the assisted band, you get rid of it, you still can't do it. And you're like, yeah. what the hell? Like, I don't understand like why I still can't do it. And that's because the band helps you with the hardest part, which mm-hmm. is the bottom, right? It's like flinging you up. Like if you take your hair, my hair tie and I literally just like go like this, it's flinging you up at the bottom. That's mm-hmm. where you're stuck. So you hop off and it makes sense that you can't do the half the yeah. last bottom piece. So right. why my program works is because we focus on the bottom. Mm. So let's focus on the bottom piece. You probably already have the la- the rest of it, like yeah. honestly. Um, and then we also focus obviously on your mindset because yeah. 
I've had women who are 100% strong enough. They have all the drills, but they do not think they can do it. So you're not going to do it. Wow. So we have to really focus on shifting those mindsets, all the all the beliefs that you might have around this skill that it's not possible for you. How can we get you to show up as your alter ego yeah. at the bar and say, I can I can do this. 